Now we need graduate cylinders to collect the distilling liquid that will be coming out of the column here. This is a glass joint. If you are not measuring the volume at particular intervals, then you can just have a round bottom flask like this attached to this joint by a clip and collect the liquid. However, if you are measuring the volume at particular intervals, you need to use graduate cylinders to collect the fractions that come out of this condenser column. Notice that I have three graduate cylinders. They all have glass joints on top so that after we collect the fractions, I can keep those fractions covered by those stoppers. Why do we need to keep the fractions covered? So that the liquid that you have collected will not evaporate off. That is the reason why you want to keep it covered with the stopper after collecting the fraction. Okay, so what you are going to do is label these three graduate cylinders as 1, 2 and 3. If you notice, I am taking the flag graduate cylinder labeled 1 and place it here on top of another jack. Why do I need a jack? Because you do not want the liquid drop to be falling this distance through the air before it gets into the graduate cylinder. So keep the graduate cylinder on the jack, raise the jack, so that the, the drop will directly fall in the graduate cylinder. Do not raise it so much so that this sits in tightly into the graduate cylinder because that will make this system a closed system. When we put the stopper and the thermometer on top, it will become a closed system if this sits in tightly. We do not ever want to do a distillation under a closed system. That is the reason why you don't want to push it so much up so that it is sitting in tightly. There should be some gap here for air to escape. So, let me go over the setup again. The jack, stirrer, heater, flask in which you are going to take your liquid, the distillation head, the stopper here, thermometer to read the temperature, graduate cylinder in which you are going to collect the condensing liquid. It is sitting on top of a jack. Obviously, remember the heating mantle was connected to the thermostat before. So, this is the setup that you will be using for fractional distillation. So, make this setup before you get the sample that you are going to use for the experiment today.